outside of La Fortuna, and it's 360, so you'll be able to spin this video on YouTube and actually watch whatever you want. Uh, this is the main entrance. This is the reception if you're just getting the day passes for the hot springs. Here's some guest parking. Here's the main reception to get into the uh, hotel to check in. Uh, just a heads up, if you're a smoker, there's no smoking allowed on the property at all. Uh, we came in from San Jose and highly advise if you're driving through around here, get a 4x4 up there, over there on the right. Well, once you check in, it'll come up this way. Uh, 28 rooms. They all start here on the right hand side. They're really nice, air conditioned. Uh, very modern, it looks like they were just remodeled. So, left here is where we eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, breakfast is included. At seven o'clock in the morning. And, uh, typical eggs, uh, potatoes, uh, always rice and beans. With almost every meal, there's always rice and beans. Just walking up here. Yeah, this is seven o'clock in the morning when I'm doing this, so it's pretty quiet. And the uh, pools aren't open yet but these are all the rooms all the way up on the right hand side and then really nice here so they're, they're doing all their morning cleaning because again the pools are open huh. so this one they suck the water out of the pools when they clean them because these are all fed with hot springs and this is the main pool with the bar over here on the right Uh, this is the only cold pool in the whole resort, so uh, it's pretty cool to hang out here. We got TV, watch your local sports or whatever. There's a waterfall over there. Again, you can spin this video with your mouse or with your fingers on the screen by moving it left and right. Here's one hot tub. I forgot what the temperature of this one is. And then this is down here is like a lazy river. Like a lazy river. Again, they'll fill it at 9 o'clock in the morning. Everything will be up and running. There's another waterfall down there. Yeah, I'm doing this real quick. Should have done this when we first checked in, but shower. And you'll find these little secluded areas where you can just hang out. Like right here on the right hand side. Just sit there, have your coffee, whatever. There's so many little hidden areas where you can just chill out. So yesterday that pool that you just saw being cleaned was like this. They drained it. This is what it looks like. It's a big waterfall over there. Another hot tub. This is where that, that little lazy river kind of thing ends over here. This hot tub is very, very hot. Uh, I think, yeah, 126 degrees Fahrenheit. 52 degrees centigrade. A little lounge chairs built into the pool. Another shower. And then you got these like little hidden areas. So this is recorded on I May mean, 10th, 11th. I forgot even what day it is. Um, I, haven't, I have not seen one mosquito yet, which is unbelievable. And we've done the waterfalls, uh, the swing bridge thing. You could do more information on the sightseeing. And then 
again, if you're a hotel guest, you're allowed to go up in here. And this is like a little wading pool. Again, very, very hot. I don't know how uh, how people could sit in there all day. And then you'll get these birds all over the place. They start singing and chirping at 4 o'clock in the morning. But if you come into Costa Rica from the East Coast, the Eastern Standard Time, your body gets used to waking up at, I usually get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. So you're technically at 4 o'clock in the morning, you're, you're wired. So sunrise is some, somewhere around 5-ish, 5 5.15-ish. Again, you have all these little hidden areas. And this is pretty cool up here. This is really cool. So again, here's the walkway. Comes up here. Volcano R and all. Uh, the first day we got here, there was not a cloud in the sky. It was amazing. But the last two days, we haven't been able to see the top. So over here is like a coffee bar. I think it opens from one till six or something. Um, they do a lot of coffee training here, and it was really, really good. I don't know if you can see the menu here. They got every type of coffee. And then you've got the wildlife, like. Over here you got the donkeys, cows, there's pigs, wild boars or pigs that wander around. There's a family of them that follow each other. Again, there's donkeys there. Uh, there's an electric fence here, they tell you don't touch it. There's cows and they wander all over the place. Uh, this room on the right hand side really beautiful it's got its own hot tub uh, king size bed though so it technically only sleeps two unless you want to put two on the couch but on a beautiful day usually you're gonna see the uh, volcano clear early in the morning because it gets cloudy during the day and it gets covered in the clouds like it is now but around five o'clock this morning I thought it was gonna clear up but it's getting a lot better Around uh, 6.30 this morning, I thought it was gonna rain. But yeah, the well, last three days we've been here, we've had maybe like six drops of rain. So, but uh, the volcano is amazing when it's clear and you can watch it. So, there's that. And it's funny, a lot of people don't even hang out here and this is the most beautiful area of the whole resort other than you know hanging out at the pool and then here's another room that was really cool it's a two-story um i think the cost for that suite over there that overlooks the, the volcano with the hot tub is like 750 dollars a night i think we're paying like 270 but you know if you you put everything together not that bad of a deal because typically the food prices here are like almost like in the states so if you go to breakfast you're going to drop family of four 60 to 80 bucks so that's included here in your package you're paying 200 bucks if you want to use the resort itself i think it's anywhere from 20 to 40 dollars a person so you, you technically you're you're paying like 60 dollars to stay here break it all down yeah you know, just walk around these units are really cool up here and down here you have some kind of a banquet room I don't know if they do that for meeting rooms or whatever it hasn't been open since we've been here they do buffets and stuff here it's really cool Yeah, you can almost see the top of Arno, but it's like white mountainous. A lot of different types of birds and stuff, and plant life here is amazing. The orchids, there's like 
dozens of different orchids around here. They just grow. People waking up to go to breakfast. And honestly, we ate rest. We ate at a restaurant right up that hill last night. Um, I gotta remember the name of it. It's really cool. Awesome for sunsets. And it wasn't that priced. So let's uh, let's pause the video right here for a second.